welcome back everybody. We have another part for our project. Uh, we're missing a fuel inlet. And what I wanted to do this time is to go over what you'd be looking for if you say went to a flea market or found this in a garage someplace. This is a Poly NH. And if you look through it, it is a swayback. <clears throat> like the horse. They made um, two kinds. They made the sway back and they made the straight through. I am fresh out of all my straight throughs. I sold them, sold them all a while ago. So we've got this to work with. Now, <clears throat> a couple of things you want to look at um, when you buy these or when you find them is you take this off, three quarter inch wrench will take this off. There are a couple of key things that you want to look for. Uh, <clears throat> you want to look for rust in the bowl, which this one has none. And you want to look for the float condition. Now this little pin here will come out if I can get it out. Typically you use needle nose, but you take the float out this is going to be an area of concern. We'll get back to that. I also want to make sure that the needle and seat operates like that. If it is stuck, this has actually got a modern tip in it. It's a, a rubber tip. So this is an aftermarket needle and seat for the fuel. So that's a good sign. So we've got that. That's free. And up top, you want to check the unscrew, unscrew this nut, and you want to check the tip. Make sure there's no ring or bent. This one has a little tiny bit <clears throat> of damage on the end where somebody screwed this in tight and gave it a little whoomp, but uh, it'll clean up fine. So those are the key features you want to look for. There's also a spring that you can check. So I guess this, is, this was a rebuilt carburetor. And then you want to make sure that the throttle has the plate in it and that it moves freely as well. There's the overview on the NH carburetor. The next thing we want to check, we want to make sure this doesn't have anything in it, no rust in it. You'll hear it rattle if it does. And you want to make sure that it floats and doesn't have any holes in it. And for that, we need some water. Okay, we have our water. We have our float. And if we Hold it down. We should see no bubbles. No bubbles. So this one's good. After uh, we assess the situation. You might want to put a coat of paint on it, make it pretty. <clears throat> um, finding myself right now faced with a dilemma on color. Because I usually like to color match on speedsters. Not seeing how we're going to go. This, see, this is this is probably the original finish too. Which I believe was it's kind of a shellac. Uh, so I might leave this I might leave this the way it is. I might put some black paint on it. I'm not sure yet. But <clears throat> the other thing that this is missing is it's supposed to be a gasket right here. So there'll be a gasket between these two parts. So 
to reassemble. Hopefully I'm on frame, I'm blocking everything in my hand. To reassemble, you put the needle in. You put the float on. You put the pin in. You put the bowl on. See, it's got a gasket on there. You put the drain and the retaining nut back on. I would have a gasket here. Tighten that up. Come up to the top. Um, if you do find some damage on the end of the tip, just a little bit of sandpaper on a really flat surface and you can just clean it up. So put this on. This screws in. Then the tension nut screws in. And you want to put a little bit of tension on that just to keep this from, like right now it'll just vibrate <clears throat> around. So you use a wrench on that. And then you bring this down gently until it seats. Right about there. And then to start off, you start baseline setting, I guess you call it, would be one and a half. So there's a half, there's one and a half. And that's about where you're probably going to run it. You might have to open a little bit <clears throat> to get the engine to start the first time, but that's, that's the ballpark that we need to be in. And that is my carburetor tutorial. Now if you've made it to the end of this video, um, I could really use your help here. Uh, YouTube's playing games with these stats. Uh, watching my views, the view count, uh, I'm watching them go down. Which, unless someone found a way to suck the information out back out through people's eyeballs, is an impossibility. <clears throat> I'm also now very suspicious about my subscriber count and uh, I believe the goal is just to keep the money that this generates for themselves. So if you could check if you were subscribed to this channel, if you could check to see if you still are. Um, if you're not, please do hit that button and uh, hopefully we can get to a point where this will start generating some income to put towards this project. That's it for this one.